Hello, my name is Krilly and welcome back to a Mass Effect Ripple playthrough. As usual, we check if we can talk to the Normandy crew. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Like this. Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play what? Play. I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. GUI interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Come on. <laughs> my word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable like juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Alert. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Of course. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. Yes. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. Looks like you already have. What happens now? You gave me a good interview, Commander. That's all I need. Tonight. Finally. James. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. That's private. a lot of inviting up. Hey man, how's it going? Oh, he wants to good, James. do the N7 you? program. Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Yes, Shoot. this is the N7 program. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. 
Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier's the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I allowed to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. Then the collectors hit. Yes, but they had the colony movie. first. Watch it. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but really? if you saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was Did. asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Up to you. Only you can make that decision, James. But I think you already know the answer. I'm glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. Oh, no. My Steve. Oh, wait a minute, this is the... Wow. Yeah, this is unexpected. Is this some extra stuff or is it actually part of the... Romance? Okay, no talk. If I do this, it's a replay of the first sequence. Yes, it is. So it's a loop. Why did I go there? He's already here. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe Medina. Great example to the other races, huh? Hey, Commander. I knew Udina was a dirty bastard, but I never would have guessed he was. Checking on the. Soul Wars Loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, oh, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. So, 
so nothing actually worth buying right now. That's cheap. Javik. Javik is here. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. That's a cruel method, Javik. Eat their own or get us. Shepard, hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? No. I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Caden didn't have to join Ash. Let's hope she's looking out for us. This was her fight too. Hey there, Caden. All seems so calm from here. There are people going through hell in a million different ways. Out there. I don't want to be fighting alongside them, but... I want to be here. You know? Sure. Quality talk. Thinking of anyone specific? I heard from my mom, Shepard. My dad is, um... He's a Maya. He's presumed. Tell me what happened. You said they got out of Vancouver. He left mom at the orchard and reported for active duty. It's all we know, but it's, uh, it's enough. She's alone in this now, in all this. I feel for you, Caden. And I'm glad you told me. There's strength in camaraderie, in empathy. Thanks. How are you going on? You're right. Fully your time. And how you do it, Shepard. Keeping it all together like you do. Earth is always in the back of my mind. Haunting me. I get that. I do. And my students. I could have used the renegade option, but Whatever I felt are, like I should. I know they're kicking ass. On Earth or somewhere. You know, when this war is over, there's gonna be one hell of a reunion party. Hell yeah. Dancing in the streets, hugging and crying. My mom's always wanted to travel off planet. I think I'll take her. Shouldn't there be a Paragon option in this Thanks conversation? Thanks for coming by. Good to have you back, Caden. What's with his arm? Hey, I bumped into Edie in the hall. Scared the shit out of me. You could have warned me. Lunch. Halyar. May I speak with you, Commander? Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. Yeah? What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. That's a trade. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant. And these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. So it's Speak Citadel. with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medijal. 
Well, it was always part of the plan and after the Normandy chit-chat we go to the Citadel. Because I have scanned the galaxy of four new stuff to collect. So, Liara, what's I in your mind? I can't count the times I've watched friends risk everything for a cause. Yeah. Ashley, back on Vermeer. When we first met, she frightened me. She was so intense when rushing into battle. I never understood what Ashley wanted to prove, but I admired her bravery. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. We are lucky more people didn't die. I'm sure Cerberus isn't through with us. What I want now You're is right. information on this Cerberus assassin. I don't think it's a coincidence Kai Lang was an N7 ranked alliance soldier too, Shepard. Maybe the elusive man misses you. What he misses is manipulating me for his own goals. I'm afraid those goals now include sending Kai Lang after the Catalyst. Tell me if you find anything. I will. I'll see you later, Shepard. Commander, I realize there's a lot happening right now, but I found something you need to see. You are giving us a mission. A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. I guess that's the Jacob mission. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them. But they save you, I guess. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Okay, it's under some time Commander. now. Hey, Anderson. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. What's on your head? A lot head of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Because they want to bring the Citadel there for no. harvesting Earth. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. And it's enough. Finally. Commander Shepard.
I'm sure Joke and Didi will have a scene with us. If not, I'd be surprised. Damn, I could really use something to shoot. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And Cadence back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. Go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer. Nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Haha. Uh -huh. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. Speak privately. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunka was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Synthetics are created with a goal in mind. Just ask their creators what it was. But my creation was planned by Cerberus. I no longer serve their purposes. Cerberus was originally created to give humanity a fighting chance. Right now, that might be a goal you can get behind. It would take significant resources and processing power. Do you think I would find it worthwhile? Well, you could do it as a favor to me. I'd make a pretty crappy husk. How would this differ from our present course? It would change what you tell yourself. That's an important distinction. Mm -hmm. I see. It is interesting. That technique could apply to any goal I set. I will not alter my programming yet. But I will devote processing power to considering a worthy goal. That answers my concern for now. Thank you, Shepard. And back to the Citadel now. No new emails. No dick side, sorry. Citadel first. Operation Paladin is a arc mod operation. An apartment yet. We can do the Citadel DLC as well, but we are not. Do you need ground transport? Knights and Asari. Hmm. Let's go Purgatory. I'm headed to Purgatory. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Let's see, is there anyone here? Idi Joker, yes. We have to talk with them. Oh, there is Joker. Go have fun! I'll guard the table. 
Hi. Hi. On your mind? I mean, processing something? Shall each man find a wife for his bosom, and each beast have his mate, and I be alone? It is from an old earth novel by Mary Shelley. Please do not take it as a complaint. All right. It did bring up a new perspective, however. I am a thing that is not human. Guess. Or Reaper. Existential Other crisis CD. experiments only. Tightly controlled. I am free, but alone. You're not an object, Evie. You're a person. You're not alone. You were suggesting I consider organics as my peer group? I could do that, but it brings up a question. Artificial intelligences often consider themselves above organic life. I, however, am uncertain if that applies to me. The crew of the Normandy believe I serve them, but also acknowledge that I keep them alive. Am I above them or below? You're important to us, Eve. You don't have to measure yourself against organics. That is kind of you to say. It also seems reasonably accurate. If I am not subject to the same expectations, I need not worry about rank. Thank you, Shepard. That helps resolve the conflict I was having. Okay, we leave this place. I don't like the music. Safety of the Citadel. You'll help CSEC however you can. Okay, then where are you? you think I care huh. Surprise, this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we oh, don't have to cafe is expensive, I guess. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling yeah, up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart to heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good Why old Canadian is this water. music playing? Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver, <laughs> drank more than a few beers on their balcony looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Let's me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. Look, we didn't come here to talk about work. Here's to that. Let me tell you something that I've been thinking about. Okay. I'm not the kind of guy who's the life of the party, who has a lot of friends. Really? No, it's true. Yeah, it's Some people the same. find my For me. Uh, integrity annoying. Really? 
No, seriously, I... <sighs> okay, fine. Well, now you're messing with me. Okay, look. I just want you to know that I consider you a friend. Okay? A good one. Damn, this is way less awkward in my mind. Mostly, I guess I just wanted you to know that I admire you as a commander. And I value your friendship. You're my brother, Caden. I'm glad to be part of the crew. What'd you call it? A uh, sanity check? Mm. Sanity check. That was actually awkward, yes. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? They're not here. from the map. It's here. Your intel, right? I found these encryption codes on a Cerberus engineer. I thought they might be helpful. Cerberus ciphers. That's exactly what we've been looking for. Thank you, Commander. found a Prothean Spear on Gehinnom. Mm -hmm. Contact the Alliance and tell them Commander Shepard asked them to pay you for it. Tactus. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes, someone needs to sort out this mess. 
CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need best medical supplies. From Dr. Shotwa oh, spoke right. of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Hmm. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference, and our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Thank you. Talk to Kelly again? I heard about the horrible thing Cerberus did during the coup. That's not the organization I joined. Hi, James. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail? Right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Yeah. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice? Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Okay. Clearly. Hey. I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on. But I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! Mike, I guess it's... Terminal chase now. Console chase, sorry. Don't crash. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes. Looks like... Okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Thank you. I recovered Prothean data drives from Garbo. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. Welcome back to Docking Bay D24, Commander Shepard. How may I help you? That's all. Please speak with me again. I thought you were gonna have like... I've already checked the console. Don't be bad, please. Where could be the last console? Presidium? No. Embassies?
the hospital. Not here. The holding area. This is now Balak, I guess. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. One sec, Commander, I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes. After you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. Surprise. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. Just like the Protheans. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end you. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. It would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people... Ah! Our ships are yours. And that was it. Shepard, are you alright? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Oh, we'll level up. I like the sound of that. I should be choosing this to damage, damage reduction, but choosing this now I guess back to the Normandy Briefing private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The alliance is forcing us to see the lighting of the shine. Commander, Dr. Chuck was sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the medbay. Oh, what again? You 
always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tatus. Okay, that's all good. I need to know. Getting settled? Cerberus didn't cut corners rebuilding this place. There's a whole lot of credits in here. You've got new messages, Commander. I know. Attack on Kamala, deploy first free players. Bahak. Oops. Who to talk to? No, I'm gonna just save here. And then this part. Thanks for joining in. If you liked it, like and subscribe and all that. See you next time.